guessing that I'm like many of you. I have a color code system set up in my Bible that I'm using, but every once in a while I come to a word and I'm trying to remember how I color coded that word. And I, like many of you, have a color code on a piece of paper that I would leave off to the side. Maybe I stored it in my Bible, but I get to that moment and I can't find the paper. Or I've written it up in the back of my Bible. And the one thing that I realized as I was studying the Bible is that it was so hard to go back here and see what was the symbol, what was the color code that I used for this certain word. So this system of having in the back of the Bible just was not working for me. But I was assuming that that's what I was gonna have to do. But then I saw a video on YouTube, it was a video that came up randomly for me. And I was just so excited by the idea presented there that I just couldn't wait. And I'll start by saying the video is by Alyssa Nalani and it's how to color code your Bible. And the video was to show her color code system, which is different than the way I color code. But I was so excited by the idea that she had. So now with this new Bible that I'm creating into my little study Bible, I am going to incorporate her idea into it. So what you see in my Bible, something new, is this colored part. Hopefully that's showing up in the video. There's this little rainbow color at the back which I don't know, I kind of like that. And you come back to this page. For my color code system, I have a Bible verse that goes with every single color. And so these are those Bible verses that go with each color. And then what I do is I flip this out and these are the actual colors and the words that go with them and how I color code it. And then on this side, these are some Bible verses about prophecy. And these are the symbols. So what I can do now as I'm studying the scriptures is I can actually see my color code system and my Bible symbols that I'm tracking as I'm studying it. I don't have to flip anywhere. I don't have to worry about losing the cards. They're right there available for me. Before I show you how I did this, I just want to mention to you, my color coding system is a little bit different. What I do is instead of color coding a whole verse and making the whole verse a certain color, I actually color code by what the word is. And this isn't typically something that I do, that I go through and color code each word. This was just a way to show an example. I will typically, as I'm reading, think, this item is really important. Like maybe I really want to focus in on the fact that it says, David thy father. And so what I do is just highlight that part. Or maybe here I want to highlight the fact that it says, if then, if you do this, then I will do that. So I might just highlight those little parts or I might want to focus on the judgments and the negative things that will happen. So I might just highlight in orange those negative things that can happen because I see the color part as just making something really stand out. But if I want to, I can always color code every single word. So in the next video, I'll show you how I color code these words, what my colors are, and the video after that, I'll show you some of the symbols that I'm tracking in the Bible. So if you haven't already, go ahead and push that subscribe button so then you can be notified as each of these videos come out. So now I'll flip to the back here and I'll show you how I attach these. So the first thing that I realized is that I probably wanted something thicker than regular paper. And I could have just done a legal size paper, but I also knew that that wasn't going to be quite big enough. The legal size would have ended right about here. And so I would have had only a small space for words. And I did want the words to be big enough to read easily. So for all those reasons, I took cardstock and I cut one paper to fill the back side of my Bible. And then I took two more and I printed out on them my color code system and my Bible symbol code page. Now I could have used this piece, which is kind of like cardstock and just attach some sheets to this one. But the problem was these pages are so thin and I thought where this ended, there would be a bump when I was trying to write. And so I thought actually I would use this as kind of a protecting sheet for my pages so there wouldn't be that bumps if I didn't have this flipped out. So what I ended up doing was taking some cardstock, cutting it down to size, and then taking washi tape and I washi taped it in. And I've never done this before so I didn't videotape as I was doing it because I was just figuring it out as I went. And I attached tape to one side of it and then just kind of pressed it into the center so that it would attach to both sides. And I did it actually on both sides. What I've seen on other videos 
is you do it on both sides so then it can flip back and forth. And then I created these sheets and I washi taped up this side and then I also washi taped on this side of it and I did the same thing for my symbols. And the one thing about this is with this washi tape, I've seen people do this, but this washi tape I bought on Amazon and I'm not sure if it's just a cheaper washi tape than some, it really does not wanna stay down. Every time I flip, it comes unattached, this washi tape, and I have to press it back down. So I don't know if there are better washi tapes out there and maybe somebody can let me know. I really like the look of this washi tape because it has all these rainbow colors in it, but I don't like that it keeps coming up. So if you know of a washi tape that will allow me to open and close it several times without it popping off but also it's a type of tape that is removable so that as i make changes or want to make additions reprint this with all my new symbols that i'm tracking i can do that easily without ruining it so it would be nice if this was temporary but that it was also sticky enough that it stayed for some amount of time and it might be that that's just not something that I'm gonna find. So anyways, if you know of anything, let me know. But that is how I attached this one. And then I wanted this one up here. And the one thing, just to mention this, what I did is because I wanted it facing this way and then being able to flip up. So what I did on this sheet is I took the images and on the screen, I took the images and I flipped them around so they're upside down so that when you print it out this way, this side of the sheet is going, the opposite side of the page is facing up. So then when you flip it up, this is also right side up. So that is how that works. And so as I mentioned, stay tuned. My next video is going to be on the actual color code system that I use in my Bible. And then the next video hopefully will be on the symbols that I'm tracking in the Bible. So stay tuned for all of that. And again, if you know any washi tape that will work better than what I've put in my Bible, let me know. So stay tuned and God bless. Mm -hmm.